Hello and welcome to Swegians. Monthly update video for the list of Chinese period dramas aired in June 2024. Yes, this is the face of the voiceover you've been hearing all along. And I'm finally glad to be able to make this transition because I can get to meet you guys personally. So in the future, I'm going to release my videos in this format and I hope you guys don't mind the transition. So for today's video, June was a busy month and we've had a total of 16 dramas. And we begin with My Wife's Double Life. A mysterious thief in the capital is tasked with marrying a cold-faced inspector in order to steal a jade pendant from him. This is a Chinese version of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's a historical romantic comedy wherein two people who are at odds with each other play a cat and mouse game, but they eventually learn to find love and be husband and wife. It's a pretty average series and it's available with English subs on iQIYI. Then we have The Double. After being murdered by her own husband, the female lead narrowly escapes death and takes the identity of her benefactor and returns to the capital for revenge. This is an addictive series with shocking plot twists and an intriguing storyline that was well executed by a cast who had amazing on-screen chemistry as well. It's an enjoyable series and it's available with English subs on Yuku's official YouTube channel and I believe it's on Netflix as well. Next comes Immortal Destiny, Forbidden Love Between. This one has two titles. This is a VR game series, wherein the female lead enters a game world in order to remove the memory chip of the male lead because she believes that it holds the secret to her father's murder five years ago. But the only problem is she enters as the character who the male lead falls for years ago but ends up getting stabbed by her. And voila, history is about to repeat itself once again. This is a steamy series with good-looking leads who have great on-screen chemistry and it's an aesthetically pleasing drama as well with great visuals considering it's only a mini-series. But then the only problem is the story kind of goes around in circles and if you can ignore the plot, it's a great series. It's available with English subs on VTV and YouTube. Then comes Enslaved by Love. After falling in love with each other, the female lead ends up breaking their relationship which leads to a huge misunderstanding. After three years, the male lead returns as the vengeful city lord and forces her into a toxic love-hate relationship. Again, this is a steamy series with great visuals and good-looking leads who have a lot of skinship, but then it has sexual assault as well. So it may still not be everyone's cup of tea. It is available with English subs on VTV and SenTV YouTube channel. Next comes Jade's Fateful Love. In order to protect her eldest sister, the youngest princess agrees to go as the substitute bride to a faraway kingdom. But then she unexpectedly ends up marrying the welcoming envoy. Their journey to the capital is filled with many dangers. But then a mysterious jade pendant opens a time gate that allows them to reincarnate many times. It's an average series with likable leads and it's available with English subs on BTV and YouTube. Next comes The Legend of Heroes Hot-Blooded Part 1. Okay, this is a classic Chinese cult wuxia drama based on a popular novel that has been adapted many times now. It tells the story of a group of martial art heroes and their adventures in the pugilistic world. The drama is actually 60 episodes, but then it is made up of many parts and Tencent has decided to air only one part now. It's a great drama for wuxia lovers and it's available with English subs on BTV. Next, we have Beauty Strategy. In a fantasy world setting where humans rule over the other clans, the princess of the spirit clan enters the palace in disguise to rescue her imprisoned brother. In a battle for ultimate survival and power, she fights her way through the imperial harem to get close to the king, which does not leave her heart unscathed as well. It's an interesting series that will definitely draw your attention, but it will not leave you impressed. It's available with English subs on Yuku's official YouTube channel. Then we have Blades Dance With You. Two people who were once childhood sweethearts now meet as enemies years later. 
The female lead is an assassin who disguises herself as a bride to kill the male lead. And he is an aloof martial arts master with ulterior motives of his own. They slowly get entangled in love and in a web of conspiracies as well. This is an average series, but it is nevertheless interesting to watch and it is available with English subs on BTV in some regions. In the US, however, you can find it only on a private YouTube channel called Drama Capture. But uh, this is a 10 cent video, so I do not know how long it's going to be up there. Then comes Follow Your Heart. A duke suffering from face blindness is tasked to investigate and eliminate a poisonous grass from this world. In his journey, he meets a traveling doctor whose appearance changes on every full moon due to a curse. After many adventures and initially at odds with each other, they slowly fall in love and prove that appearances are futile when it comes to matters of the heart. It is a watchable series, but it's not great because they could have done so much more with the cast and the plotline. Anyways, it's available with English subs on Aichi. Next we have My Sassy Girl. This is an amusing story of two childhood sweethearts who are separated in life because of their social standing, only to meet later in life embroiled in a murder case. As they try to solve the case, they fall in love all over again. It's a rookie series with uh, low-key production, casting and storyline. It's available with English subs on Yuku's official YouTube channel. Then we have Eternal Love Sickness. This is a heart-wrenching and yet sweet love story between a fake eunuch who holds immense power and a missing princess who is driven by revenge. It's not an unusual story by any means, but it is a light-hearted, steamy series that you can watch to pass time. It's available with English subs on Fresh Drama YouTube channel. Then comes Phoenix Lands in the World. This is another story of how the female lead enters into her own novel and becomes the villainess. The male lead hates her, of course, and tries to get near her only to get her secret skill. And the only way for the female lead to return to reality is to kill the male lead. But they end up falling in love, of course. I have lost count of how many times I have repeated the same plotline for different Chinese dramas in my monthly update videos. It's a mediocre series at its best, and you can check it out with English subs on Aichi and Mango TV YouTube channel. Then we have The Princess Royal. This is a rebirth and second chance at love series. A Grand Chancellor and the Princess Royal enter into a loveless political marriage and live for 30 years only to die by each other's schemes. But now they mysteriously find themselves back again in time with all their memories intact. Determined not to walk the same path again, they slowly learn to mend their relationship and find love. This is an interesting series with an entertaining cast and it's available with English subs on Yuku's official YouTube channel and I believe it's coming soon to Netflix as well. Next we have Moon Love. This is a fantasy historical series that narrates the forbidden love story between a human girl and the moon god. As a human girl with the ability to see grotesques or renegade immortals as they are called, the female lead tries to get closer to the moon immortal because his task is to hunt them down and in the process they fall in love. It's an average series with a decent execution and cast and it's available with English subs on Aichi. Next we have Treasures Around. This one narrates the cute and quirky love story between a strong business-minded woman who wants to become a jade specialist and the frivolous playboy of a reputed jade merchant family. It's a light-hearted romantic series that is easy to watch and it is available with English subs on Fresh Drama YouTube channel. Lastly, for dramas that are totally unavailable, we just have one this month, The Cloud Embracing the Moon. It's a story about two women, a princess and an assassin, who team up to take revenge for their own personal reasons. But they eventually end up falling in love with their enemies. So it's a tale of forbidden love and revenge that is played in the midst of internal conflict, political turmoil, swapped identities, and a treasure map. Now, for the drama of the month. Both the double and the princess royal were contenders, but I'm still going to give it to the double. It was an unexpected, highly dramatic series that you can easily get addicted to. Despite the narrative being littered with logic and plot holes, it is an entertaining series with shocking twists, dramatic angst, combustive chemistry and a great cast. 
Finally, for dramas that are currently available, we have two miniseries from April, Lu Jiajiao's Assassination Notes and The Missing Snowflake. Both of them are available with English subs on YoYo English channel on YouTube. And then we have three miniseries from May, A Beauty's Plan. This one's available with English subs on Fresh Drama Pro YouTube channel. And My Bossy Sweet Wife. This one's available with English subs on a new YouTube channel called Global Fever. I checked this one out. It's available in the US, not sure about other regions. And then the last one is Rise from the Ashes. You can find this one with English subs on Tencent Video Mini Drama official YouTube channel. I don't want to repeat myself, so if you want to know more about the dramas available, please go and check my previous monthly update videos. You can always find them in the unavailable dramas list. And as for June, out of 16 dramas this month, 15 were available with the exception of just one. And that's just great news for us international audiences. I do hope you guys are having a lovely summer and July has been really hot in the drama front as well with some big projects dropping in. So I hope to have a better update for next month. I hope you guys enjoy these dramas and thank you for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.